Hey, what's up? This is Lon Naylor with LearnCamtasia.com and today I'd like to talk about one of my favorite new features in Camtasia Studio 7 and it has to do with custom callouts. Now I love using custom callouts because you can add a little bit of visual interest and it's just better than some of the normal Camtasia callouts. So in this particular case I am in Camtasia 6 and I just have a title clip on the timeline here and what I'd like to do is essentially take this little logo image and put it uh, on top of this particular title clip and of course that means using a custom callout. Well the current procedure in Camtasia Studio 6 is to kind of go through a, a bit of a rigmarole here and I have to go to callouts add custom callout then I have to navigate to the point where the callout that I want to have is. I have to select it, open it, give it a name if I want, and then once it's added, I have to actually select it off of a list, and then finally after all that's said and done I end up with my custom callout being added. Well, that's how you do it in Camtasia Studio 6. What I found out is that in Camtasia Studio 7, it's a whole bunch easier. So here I have another video clip, and uh, we'll just let this roll for a second. And I'm just going from the end of my video, a little, tr little transition, into another ending title clip. Kind of the same situation. So I want to add my new callout or that graphic image and in Camtasia Studio 7 the way I do that is I just navigate to the image that I want and then drag and drop it right into the callout line. This is so sweet. Yes! <laughs> and at this point I can add any effects or anything else that I want to do to the callout and now I'm ready to go. Let's run that. So much easier. This lets you really start to get into using some cool custom images and just dropping these kinds of elements right into your video and using them right away, including all of the effects that they can provide you with. And it gets even a little sweeter than that because I can right click from here and add this to my library so that at that point it's then always available to me as a normal custom callout just like we're used to. So that's it for today. A sweet little tip that by the way I couldn't find this documented anywhere in any of the features or things that Camtasia or, or TechSmith talks about and I tell you what this is one of my favorite favorite time-saving tips in Camtasia Studio 7. So thanks for watching. And remember, friends don't let friends make crappy videos. <laughs> <laughs>